Cuba, a lot of people are surprised at the way Yoruba is widely spoken. It's widespread here. You know, um, I just got a car that brought me here, and the guy in the car, he was a white Cuban. Um, when you say white, basically, a lot of the Cubans are from uh, from Spain. You know, Castro was from Spain. But here's the thing: this guy, he was a white Cuban, and he understands Yoruba. But they don't call it Yoruba; they call it Oruba, Oruba. So it sounds like if, if you're hearing it, it sounds like it's something else. But it's actually Yoruba, what you and I know as Yoruba. But they don't say Yoruba; they call it Oruba, Oruba. And so they understand Yoruba. I mean, it, it's so widespread here, and a lot of them. You know, their religion is actually something they call Santoria, Santoria, you know. Now, my assistant is filming this now. He, he can actually tell you, you know, um, the guy who brought us here, you know, he practices Santoria and then he's surprised when I know about Orishas. And then he's asking me, uh, how do you know about Orisha? You worship uh, Santoria, you practice Santoria? And that's so, I, I mean, that's just the issue here is that they've adopted, absorbed Yoruba culture in Cuba. And it's not just here in Cuba, also in Brazil that they think it's their culture and then they're just surprised when somebody comes from somewhere and tells them that, oh, I also understand this. So you see, the word Orisha, you know, like um, among the Yoruba, it's, it's, uh, it's like a god, you know, god, god, a small god, but over in their religion here in Cuba, it's like a saint. So it's like a Orisha, so Eshu. What you call Eshu? Over here they call it Esu. We know Eshu as devil, but to them, you know, Eshu is something good that, like they worship, it brings them luck, it brings them blessings. And so, we need to understand, you know, Yoruba, that culture, is a very, very dynamic culture. It's a very, very powerful culture. It's all around the Caribbean, it's all around Latin America, uh, North and South America, and then the Caribbean, that we need to unify these people with Nigeria. So a lot of them can come and visit Nigeria, you know, it's going to help tourism, it's going to help promote, you know, Afro-Caribbean, Afro-Latino uh, relationship. Now, watch this video of somebody who speaks Yoruba, or rather her mother speaks Yoruba. You know, the guy, uh, the white guy who speaks uh, Uruba, you know, he was camera shy, he didn't want to talk. Now, just watch this video. Hello, Brandy, how are you doing? I'm good, you? Okay, so what's your origin? Jamaican and half Cuban. So you're half Jamaican, you have Cuban, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, so who's Cuban? My mom. Your mom. Mm -hmm. What language does your mom speak? Arabic and English, and she also knows Korea. Okay, so Yoruba? No, I'm, she never taught us, okay. but with her mom, they speak it. Okay, so her mom, she speaks Yoruba, mm -hmm. but she never speak, taught you guys Yoruba? No. Okay. So, in Cuba, do they speak Yoruba? Yes. They speak Yoruba? Mm -hmm. They're okay. taught it in school. They teach it in school in, in, in Cuba? Yes. So, are you surprised to hear that it's an African language? No. Did you know it was an African language? Yeah, most everything is originated from From Africa? <laughs> okay. So, where, where do they speak Yoruba in Africa? You have, you have an idea? No, not Ghana. No. I'm not sure. It's it's spoken in a country called Nigeria. That's what they speak. Okay. That's what they speak uh, Yoruba. My mom's married. But when who travels all around the world, I hope you get inspired about what you see. I was full of greatness. Reno is a master. Only one man against the whole world in large. Fighting with the monsters. Poverty I can't stand. That's why Reno is. A